if someone out there, I think this is an important question because I hear this all the time, gets Botox or Anaba A for cosmetic purposes, can they also get it for migraine and vice versa? So I'll start that with that's actually how they figured out Botox for chronic migraine back in the early 2000s. It was actually a, a couple of groups, one where I did my training, Jefferson, Dr. Silberstein, they were hearing from patients who were getting facial Botox and then saying, oh, my migraines have improved. And that's what sort of kickstarted this whole idea and study. The, mm -hmm. the, the first studies for Anabot A for migraine were only the forehead, 25 mm -hmm. to 75 units only in the forehead. They then expanded to the entire head. So if someone out there is doing it for cosmetic purposes, Again, they need to meet the requirement for Botox for chronic migraine, which again, 15 headache days a month, eight of which are migraine. You know, that is what the FDA approval. If someone meets that headache criteria and, you know, and they get insurance authorization, then we would do Botox where most of my patients, like we are injecting the forehead. So yes, it does do for the most part, the cosmetic effect, which is, I call it a neat little side effect. 